I'm here with Gunnar Peterson, one of the best trainers out there, and we're talking Hollywood muscle today. I've seen Sly Stallone's biceps a lot. How can you not? Because they're massive. They're correct. He's been around for a long time. To have that kind of size at what, 75, 76 years old is amazing. 75 years old, yep. You've worked with him a little bit and you've worked with a lot of guys. What are some tips you can give us on how I can build biceps that big? Because I have these baby ones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Angles, supersetting, and getting more bang for your buck when you go from one movement instead of just letting it hang to keeping an ISO hold. Let's do it. Let's do it. So first one is low anchor point, more traditional, flat bar, straight up curling here. And when you finish with that set, how many of these do you want me to do? I mean, I can be here all day. I mean, I, keep going. We want to make sure you get a pump here. Oh, Just like on. 10. Yeah. You don't think I lifted before I came in? No, it's, it's too early in the morning. So let me give it a try. Well, for sure he's going to do it. For give sure. Me some, give me some load. Right. I mean, if you're going to call it heavy. If you're going to call it heavy. If I want to get slide. Here, are we good? Yeah. All right, there we go. Yes, now I got to work. Right? Yeah. Now you're in the game. I would also say another thing to emphasize is where you're feeling that pull in the grip. If you feel that towards the pinky and the ring finger part of your palm versus rolling over and recruiting for break your radialis, you're gonna yeah. get way more direct stimulation on the biceps. Okay. And then you could follow that up with a high curl and depending on where you wanna bring it, whether you're coming behind the head or more in front, you can drop it down and bring it to the back and play with it. I would say, don't worry about the rep so much, worry about the contraction. Are you feeling it? Is it engaging? Are you just squeezing this and repping, or are you actually going, ah, oh, there I feel the bicep, there I feel the bicep. See the high cable? Play with the position of keeping this back and touching right behind the ear. Yep. Yep. There's a lot of shoulder stability in this one, too. We're just all gonna talk about this. I mean, I, you should be taking notes here. I'm like half of Sly right now. How big are his biceps? They're big. They're. Let's just say you could call them the Rocky Mountains. See what I did there? That's good. Uh, ah, yeah. you know. We get that high load curl and then we go to something a little bit lighter, isolate, kind of build a little bit of pump in our biceps as well. Definitely. Right? The pump is the key, right? I mean, that's what we all came here for in the beginning. So what else you got? All right, so incline, drag curl. Again, keep the elbow back, keep it down. And when you're done, come up, rotate, and go into a hammer curl. So again, we're changing angles, right? Angles and nuances are the key to changing the body, in my opinion. Also, it makes things interesting too, because I can only do so many biceps curls just standing there. So at the top, think about this. Does it look like a barbell? If there were a bar here, I'd have you there. I know you're making me super harder. Well, not a lot of people check me on that. I'm not checking you. I'm trying to give people what they're here for. <laughs> Now That's coming good. up, seated, palms in, hammer them up. And if you really want to pull that, bring the hammer up all the way to the top. Yes. And don't let the elbows flare. Can't really talk because this is work. So many people are training and checking boxes and going through their journals, but are you feeling? If you're not feeling it, you're probably not getting as much as you can out of it. Yeah. How many sets did you do of these? Three. I'm a big three and three guy. Some days if you're not feeling it, add four. Some days you don't have enough time, it's gonna be two. So then you talk about playing with the cadence, talking about uh, pushing your pace more explosive. There's so many ways to play with that so that you stay mentally engaged and so your body continues responding. Exactly, and that's big. You can't always go, we can't, I can only add so much weight to my biceps curl. I'm not gonna curl 75 pound dumbbells. That's sliced to low in territory. So I need to find ways to work with weights that I can handle. Is there a third tip you can give us that relies on a different variable? From one movement, instead of just letting it hang to keeping an ISO hold. Mm. And you talk about if they're just doing basic curls and when they're done with the set or they do one side and then hold the ISO, right? So in fact, it's its own superset. I love ISO curls too, because I feel like they, you can't hide. You, you're stopping at a certain moment. And if you, if, you've, if you had cheated to get past that moment because of momentum, like if I rocked, if I was rocking past right. that midpoint, so now I, I can't, my left arm can't hide. Right, and then the way to check yourself on this is, is it? Fully parallel to the ground. Yeah. Well, the pump is real. So you do three sets of this too, to finish up. What the people who train with me are trying to do, that's a pretty comprehensive overall biceps workout if you're splitting things by body part. If you're having somebody who has a photo shoot coming up or you want to give some extra love to it, that would work. I think my biceps just have, have enough love from you. 
<laughs> for one day, we wind up changing angles relative to torso, something I love to do. We change the anchor point, we change the grip, because we got the hammer curls in, and then we change tempo, and you do all three of those things. And so one day if I do that, I'll have slice stolen biceps. Is that what you're telling me? I cannot make any promises. But I'm <laughs> saying, if that's the goal you're setting out towards, that this is the right way to chase it. One day we'll get to that. For now, all I want to know is who's bigger, me or Sly? Come on, man. <laughs>